canine trap in here today uh, and and I've got a great location here so anyway you can see here what we've got is um, we've got this big pipeline road uh, and they keep these pipeline roads pretty well cleared out they mow them once a year or twice a year or something so we've got a big intersection point it's kind of right here on the uh, on the edge of two different terrains uh, I've actually got I've got coyote tracks right there right there and I've got a couple piles of scat as well so we're setting on sign uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and dump in a, uh, a set here and then I'm gonna put another one on down the way but uh, we're gonna put a set here and now we've got rain coming uh, there's rain three out of the next four days so I'm gonna take and I'm actually gonna make my set rather than over here where it's all kind of bare ground I'm gonna bring my set up here into this grass and since they brush hogged all this there's a lot of loose loose grass so I'm gonna make a real kind of a, a blended in um, blended in set and we're gonna use kind of a bait holder uh, rather than a standard dirt hole just because we got so much rain coming uh, I want to be able to have this set working you know for the next week or so I went around and I, I got a, a nice pile of grass here uh, we're, well, we're gonna kind of blend our trap in with so like I said it's gonna rain so much if I if I make a big disturbed like dirt hole or step down set because as many of you guys know it's watched me for a long time you know that that is by far my favorite and uh, highest producing set are the dirt hole variations um, basically I just can't do it this this way right so um, I'm a, I've got limited time to be in here on this property um, you know because I've got to be in and out around our deer season so I want to get in here and I want to get this done quick so we're just gonna adapt we're gonna make a bunch of blended sets um, you know like I said take what cards are dealt to you here in this situation so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna blend this set in and uh, you know that'll that's gonna really kind of keep it working through all this rain that we've got for the next you know few days so like I said I'm sitting right I'm kneeling right on the trail here this is kind of that that area backing that's a little higher here that's what we're gonna use um, so this is a pretty simple set really and it, it is very effective um, I just I like big flashy sets and and this is not really that um, it, it is flashy to a degree we're gonna use a lot of this grass but uh, you know is what it is so I'm gonna be using uh, the Duke 650s today and uh, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm not really so much gonna dig down a, a a dirt hole per se I'm just gonna pound a trap bed in the ground so we're gonna put our bait holder uh, and I'll show you that in a second we're gonna put our bait holder right there so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna take my trowel here and I'm basically just gonna beat and pound in you can see the ground's real muddy here uh, because we've had a lot of rain too but I'm just gonna just beat in a trap bed now it's gonna rain a lot and we're not gonna get any kind of freezing temperatures at least for the next foreseeable future so nothing that's gonna matter to me so I'm not really that worried about it uh, using any kind of any kind of freeze proofing or anything like that I just want this trap to work in a lot of rain so I've got a bowl that's kind of beat down here, about the same size as uh, as my trap. I still want my trap pretty level. I don't want it, you know, way, way up in the air. So we'll take our steak here and uh, our fin super steak. We're gonna drive that. Right down. Retriever cable, I just stick that down in the hole and it stays right there. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and set our trap. Now, because I'm not gonna cover this trap with dirt, I'm not gonna worry about a, a pan cover or a pan plug or, or anything like that. Um, I'm just not big on screen and anything like that. I like fiberglass, but it's just not necessary in this situation. So we'll set that trap there and I'll bring it down to night latch. We're gonna test fit it right there in that in that bed we've dug down. I can see I need to make that a little better there. All right, now because this we're not really covering this thing, I'm just kind of really working this trap in and uh, you know making it just as solid as possible in the ground I've got. Kind of taking that bowl that I've made, just kind of throwing the grass over the top. Pretty, uh, pretty secure set there. All right, so there we go, our trap's set. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just disperse all this grass that I've made all around the area, make it, you know, kind of a uh, kind of inviting for the for the coyote. You know, you don't want to spook them off with just a little bit of, of a kind of a focal point, if you will. So we're just going to take some of this. Like I said, this is all just brush hog clippings that I just picked up right there. I'm going to take a set of shears, and the uh, the grass is just over top of the trap. I'm going to just cut up into you know, like three quarter, one inch pieces there. Um, just so that way I don't interfere with the trap firing. Put it over, you can see I'm just covering the trap with it. All right, so the trap's covered up with that loose material. Now I'm gonna take the rest of this stuff, move my tools out of the way. And I'm just gonna just shake it all around. I'm really gonna blend everything in. I'm gonna do pretty big area you can see here. Probably four or five foot wide circle, right? And around the edge, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna make sure that there's a little bit of a depression right where my trap is. Just kind of give them as much guiding as I can without just making it just crazy crazy. But I like that lowest point to be, you know, right right where that trap is. Um, animals will have a tendency to kind of kind of step on the lowest point. So you can see we've got it all blended in real nice. Don't know anything's there. That's our set. Um, now here's where here's where it gets interesting. So as far as bait, this is what I'm going to use. Uh, like I said, we've got a ton of rain coming, so these are actually some uh, little bait holders that I make. I use these a lot whenever it rains and freezing ground. It's just a piece of conduit that I've welded on a, a quarter inch rod to, and I can stick that in the ground. Works really good in frozen ground and uh, real wet ground. You know, your dirt hole doesn't fill up. The water can drain out through that. Keeps your set working pretty good. All right, so as the title of this video shows, um, this is the bait we're going to catch it on, kind of an unconventional bait. This is some taco meat um, that kind of got pushed back in the back of the refrigerator and kind of went bad on me. So that's what we're using. We're going to catch a coyote on taco meat. So I'm going to take my, my bait holder here and uh, I'm just going to pack it full of that, that taco meat. This is actually ground deer, but uh, you know couple spoonfuls of, of that goodness there. Now what I want to do is I want to place this um, just kind of as you would a standard dirt hole. So I'm just going to just tuck that bait tube right there and then as per Illinois law I need to cover that up. So we're just going to cover that up. We're going to throw a little bit of a, a caster on it. So I like caster, it's a real easy to get, real simple uh, kind of lure here. All right, so here we go. This is just caster ground with glycerin with a little bit of a uh, little bit of skunk essence in it. It's, it's my homemade lure. Um, it's what I use on about 90% of my stuff. I'm just gonna take just a little bit on a stick, put it right there next to that bait tube. And then I usually like to mark my sets with some sort of a urine. So this is a red fox urine. I'm um, just gonna kind of apply that right there. Um, kind of all, all right there together. We got our bait lure and our urine all together. But anyway, pretty simple. That's that's what we're doing. All right. So here's the finished set. Um, that's what it, that's what it's looking like right there. You can see a very super blended in set. But this set will take an enormous amount of rain and weather. Uh, like I said, if it was to be freezing, I would do a little bit different things as far as uh, the trap bedding, but you can see right there's the lowest spot. I know the camera does not do depth perception, but that, that is the lowest spot right there. That's what we want to have them keep working. Um, and then our, our what little bit of backing we have right on the trail. That's our coyote set. All right, y'all, so it is pouring down rain, and as promised, the rain is here. But hey, real quick, I just wanted to show you guys, um, here we've got a nice bobcat in this uh, in this set. That's a pretty good sized cat there. Uh, nice back foot catch on him. And uh, 
Caught that thing on taco meat, right? Pretty aggressive little cat. All right, so I don't have uh, my catch pole with me. As you can see, the rain is, is here, man. It's, uh, it's raining pretty good. So I'm gonna put this camera away before I ruin it and, uh, and go back to my truck and get my catch pole. But anyway, two days. This set sat two days and we got a nice cat in it. So uh, on taco meat. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. I just did a whole bunch of talking and uh, I figured out that I, I thought I pressed the record button, but I had not. All right, so there's our coyote. He was alive just a few seconds ago. We dispatched him. Uh, so anyway, you guys saw the other day I caught a bobcat um, on our taco meat mix here. Uh, I actually just took care of a coon in another coyote set. Um, I'm trying to hurry here for daylight. Sun's going down. But uh, anyway, that was on a hot dog. I was trying to use up that package of hot dogs. So I've got a bobcat on taco meat. I've got a coon on a hot dog. And here we have this coyote here. This was a hay set on the edge of this, um, this kind of pronounced timber peninsula uh, that kind of goes out into this agricultural land. Um, you can see the old, the old coon trails, small game trails are still here from whenever uh, the corn was in, but there's coyote tracks, or there were coyote tracks all over. Uh, the ground was froze, but I had, still was able to see them. Uh, that's why I put this set here. So I checked this thing with my truck the last two days, and uh, today I am just wallering in the mud. So going back with a hay set, and there is still my bucket of taco meat. So coyote on taco meat, coon on a hot dog, bobcat on taco meat. Um, I don't know what else to say, y'all. This is, this is one of those things where you set on sign, you put in good sets, you catch critters. I, I really, truly believe that that is way, way more important than your bait and lure. So anyway, that dude is um, caught super deep in that Duke 650, you know, I mean, that is just a perfect, perfect pad catch. You know, if you wanted to release that critter, you easily could. Uh, the 650s, I mean, this thing is just packed full of mud, obviously, but my favorite trap whatsoever uh, for canines. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and remake this. Um, you can see just how muddy and nasty it is. One of the beauty things about the, the straw or hay, this is hay here that I brought in. You know, a dirt hole here just does not work. Um, I could have put a dirt hole in whenever the ground was frozen. Problem is, as all this water leaches back out, it's just going to fill your dirt hole and trap bed up with water. Um, these type of sets here will take that, take that moisture. I'll be able to reset right on top of all this muddy mess and, and be able to make a catch. So. Alright y'all, so if you made it this far in the video, I want to thank you. You know, throughout the course of a season, I get several thousand comments and questions and, and messages and things like that. And, you know, probably the number two question that I receive through the course of a season has to do with bait and lure. And, uh, you know, simply put, the reason I don't talk about bait and lure any more than I do is just because I don't think it ranks as high up on the importance scale as a lot of people put it. You know, there's a lot of things that that are more important to successful trapping than bait and lure choice. Obviously it does have its place, but you know, I think a lot of people get this illusion that there's some magical bait, this magical formula that you can, you can put in a dirt hole and it's going to pull those critters 50, 60, 70 feet to your set. And I just honestly don't believe that. I don't believe that's true. So that's the reason I don't talk about it more than I do. Um, you know, I don't want to give people false information. So anyway, uh, you know, the reason I showed what I showed in this video is it seems everybody gets a hard on for these, you know, your, your predators, your bobcats, your, your coyotes, everything like that. So that's why I wanted to show, you know, what I did in this, uh, in this video. Obviously the set I showed at the beginning of the video, I, I felt has importance because you know, that set is kind of unconventional. Um, you know, whenever you're talking talking canines and things like that and uh, you know, I didn't even cover a trap with dirt you know but you know that just goes to show you don't have to overthink this trapping thing um, you know 
as I've said it before, and I'll say it again, if I ever had to have a tattoo of the most important thing uh, to trapping to me, it would be set on sign. So that's what I tried to show in this video was, you know, if you're on location, if you're setting on sign, you know, it's not rocket science. And, you know, I think a lot of people, it, you know, all this information out there, stuff gets in their head and they way overthink this trapping thing. Um, you know, you guys have heard me talk before. I've got just a couple sets that I use. Um, I don't go crazy with set variation. Obviously, the set that I showed you here, um, you know, we were dealing with, with huge amounts of rain. That set worked in the rain. Uh, you know, so that's that's where you adapt a little bit. You, I, I don't adapt so much with my bait and lure choice. you got to remember with this trapping thing that... This isn't the Disney world that, that we've been brought up to believe where you put two traps in the ground, you're going to come back the next day and have two critters. Uh, you know, simply put, you know, the, trapping is, is a fairly low percentage sport whenever you really think about it. Um, you know, especially whenever you're talking about canines and, and predators and things like that. So, you know, I still say, you know, if you get on location, you saw in that first video, I power bedded that trap. You know, that trap was solid. It made a good catch. I know a lot of people get tied up with the bait and lure. And obviously, you know, I've got my formulas and different things like that. But I still do not rate bait and lure as high up on a pedestal as what a lot of people, you know, kind of kind of give it credit for. So obviously there's so much information out there, you know, you can go crazy and be overwhelmed with it. Uh, you know, now, you know, obviously I don't like to talk about a lot of numbers, uh, you know, on this channel, but simply put, you, you know, you can see, see the amount of critters I'm going through here. And you know, what I'm sharing with you in these videos are, are facts, you know, they're, they're not made up, uh, you know, and a lot of things, you, it just takes time to, to get comfortable and get in a rhythm, you know. So, anyway, I hope this video helped some of you all out. Um, you know, if I had to stress one thing, it's location and set on sign. That's, you cannot catch a critter where he is not. It's as simple as that is. Um, you know, and you're also not going to draw that critter, you know, 30, 40, 50 feet. You need to be right where that critter is. And, uh, you know, that's where your success rates go up. So, anyway, y'all, um, I've got a ton of work here. I've got to get done here this evening. Got a lot of skinning to do here yet. But, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, you know, it's a, like I said, it, it's a question that I get all the time. So, I wanted to put this short video together and just kind of share with you my thoughts on the matter. Um, you know, to each their own, obviously, but... You know, I've got quite a few years and quite a few catches uh, under my belt. And, you know, simply put, y'all, don't overthink this. Get out there, find some signs, set on it, and enjoy the sport of trapping. With that being said, y'all, as always, I appreciate the view. Please leave a comment down below. Hit that thumbs up if you would. We'll see you all in the next video.